Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm TJ, creator of TJ's Magic Touch, and in today's video, I will be showing you how to curve text in Photoshop. If you are new here, please consider subscribing and sticking around for more videos. And if you are returning, thank you so much for the continued support. I truly appreciate it. Now let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is click on create new to open up our new document panel. I'm just going to select the first size that I have here, which is I believe 3600 pixel by 3600 pixel. The size of your document does not matter for this, so you can choose any size and you'll be able to follow along. Okay, really quickly before we get started, I am going to reset my workspace so that it's easier for you to follow along. And if you have something out of sorts, just at the top, window, workspace, and essentials default, and we'll have the same screen. So now I am going to click on my text icon over here to the left. It's the large T and I'm going to go down to find the font that I want. And today the font I will be using is school day. If you are interested in the font that I'm using today, I will leave a link for it in the description box below. It comes from Creative Fabrica and currently at the date of this video being released, it is only 70 cents. So let's get started with the tutorial. So now I'm just going to click on my move tool to stretch the font out. That way you can see it better on the screen. And then I'm going to type in the words that I want to use for this tutorial. Hey y'all. Now with your text layer still selected, you're going to look right at the top of your workspace bar and you'll see this T with the curved line underneath and that is your create warped text. Once you click on create warped text, you'll see all of the different options in order to arc, um, arc lower, arc upper, vertical, horizontal. You'll see all the different ways you can manipulate, easily manipulate your font with this text option. Now with our text layer still selected, you can either click delete on your keyboard or you can click and hold the layer and drag it down to the trash can. This will get rid of it and take us back to step one. So what we're going to do for this next option is click on our shape tool and click on ellipse. We're going to draw a circle on our screen. Now if you look up top, our aspect ratio is not selected, which means when we begin to draw our ellipse, we'll get an oval. The way to prevent that is to hold down the shift key while you're making your shape and this allows you to have a perfect circle. Now I'm just going to take my move tool and just basically move and adjust the circle to get it where I want it to be in order to show you a little bit better the second technique. After we have our ellipse or our circle right where we want it to be, you're going to click T on your keyboard. And I don't know if you can see it or not, but once you click T, your cursor pops up on your screen. So currently we still don't actually have a text layer. You're going to go to the outline of your circle with your cursor and you'll notice that it changes to a regular cursor with a swiggly line through it. Once you click on it, a text layer is created and it follows the path of the shape. So again, I'm going to text, hey y'all, cause it's a Texas thing. Now at this point, you can click on the eye beside the ellipse layer and this will get rid of your circle. Um, but there's one other thing that I'm going to show you before we're done with this tutorial. 
if you click on the arrow under your text layer in your um, in your toolbar that's your path selection tool you want to click and highlight the white arrow which is your direct selection tool once you do this make sure that you have your text layer highlighted and you can hover over it this allows you to drag the text around your circle you can pull it inside of your circle and basically move it to however you want to move it okay that is it for this video I hope it was helpful I hope you were able to pick up a thing or two please don't forget to like comment share subscribe make sure you have that notification bell turned on so that you're notified every time I upload a video until the next one bye guys